Hi, I'm Hari. And I'm Maddie. We're junior firefighter reporters. And we're at the fire station to ask some questions. Hi kids, I'm Steve. I'm a CFA member in Victoria. I volunteer at the Alinda and Tarwin Lower Fire Brigades and what can I help you with today? Hi Steve. We want to find out all about fire trucks and how they work. Your fire trucks are really interesting. They have lots of equipment to help us fight fires and keep us safe. And they have really cool lights and sirens. The lights and sirens that'll let everybody know that we're on our way to help. And people can move out of the way so we can drive through the traffic safely and get to the fire quickly. Are there any different types of fire trucks? Yes, there are. The two trucks we use the most are called pumpers and tankers. Both types have hoses and water to help us fight fires. There are different trucks for different types of emergencies. The water tanks are usually on the back of the truck. Some of the big tankers can hold up to 10,000 litres of water and that's enough to fill 33 bathtubs. Are all the hoses the same? No, we use different sorts of hoses for different fires. Can we see what it's like inside the truck? Sure, we call the front part of the truck the cabin. This is where firefighters sit on their way to emergencies. What do you keep in the lockers of the sides of the truck? We need lots of equipment to do our jobs. The lockers have special spots for each piece of equipment so we can find what we need. In here, we've got a small fire extinguisher, saws for cutting through stuff like fallen trees that are blocking our way. Here we have our first aid kits and fighting fires can be dangerous. So we need to be able to treat injuries and the equipment in here is very important. Our breathing apparatus, or BA for short, is what we use when dangerous chemicals are around and we need to breathe clean air. Wow, fire trucks are amazing. Where's the best place to wait when a fire truck's on its way? Couldn't have asked a more important question. It's a great idea to plan ahead so you know where to wait if you need firefighters. You can choose a place with your family, your letterbox or the front gate are good places. And at school, you should practice where you need to go with your teacher. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, now I know all about fire trucks.